Hey guys, Macy here from MC Wild Nature, and today's video is actually a continuation from last week. So if you're interested in learning about behaviors and characteristics of Canadian geese, go check out my previous video. I'll link it down below. This week we're going to be talking about how migration patterns of Canadian geese have been changing. So urbanization and climate change are actually the two biggest reasons for this migration change. The change that we're seeing is that many geese are actually delaying their migrations or not traveling as far as they have in previous years. years. While climate change has a few more obvious reasons to delaying their migration, mainly because their plant food sources are more available into the winter months, let's look more into the urbanization side. So when geese migrate, the big things they are looking for is available food sources and a source of water that is not frozen. They need the water that's not frozen because they use it to protect their young and also to protect themselves from land predators. This water source is especially important during their yearly molt because they cannot fly during this time. Geese have more access to unfrozen ponds up north. This means that they don't have to migrate as far. Open lawns and golf courses give adult geese an up the upper hand when it comes to looking for predators because they can see them coming from a long way away and get themselves and their chicks to safety. So the Canadian geese migration in past years has covered between 2,000 and 3,000 miles, but some geese now are cutting that migration dramatically, including some geese not migrating at all, which have become known as resident geese. And this actually causes so many problems for some areas because if you guys don't know this, geese poop a lot. Like it is so much and that's a lot of bacteria, especially when these geese stay in the same area all year round. So when they migrate, this actually gives the area some relief and they can recover. With them not migrating, it actually becomes like a huge like cesspool of just bacteria and grossness, um, which is bad for an area and bad for an area's water. And this puts stress on both the people they live near and the ecosystem. I hope you guys learned something about Canadian geese today. And if you have any questions, please drop them down below. And if you have any questions on other wildlife, feel free to put them in there as well. If you guys enjoyed the video this week, please click the big thumbs up button. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you liked what you saw, please subscribe and hit that bell notification so you'll know when I post another video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.